Hi, I'm Marco Brown, divorce attorney here in Salt Lake City, and I'm coming to you answering the most commonly asked questions about divorce on the internet. The one we have here is, what happens if I can't pay alimony? Now, what I'm gonna assume is that alimony has already been ordered, and you, for some reason, are not able to pay alimony ongoing, right? Maybe you lose a job, or you have a bad month, or something like that, and you just can't pay your ex alimony that month. If it's a short-term situation, then what's going to happen is you're going to talk to your ex. You're going to say, hey, look, I can't this month because of this, but I'll pay you more next month. Right. And that's going to take care of the problem. You're going to be you're going to be fine. If it's a more permanent problem, you have lost your job and you absolutely can't pay alimony, then you're going to deal with it one of two ways. You're either going to talk with your ex and say, hey, look, I can't do this. Let's lower this. And you just kind of have this gentleman's agreement between the two of you. Not really the way I, I suggest people go about it, but a lot of people go about it that way. Or you're actually going to go back to the court. You're going to explain your situation and say, hey, look, I need to modify my divorce decree to pay less in alimony ongoing because this happened. So you set it out in a petition to modify. This is what I paid. This is what's happened. This is why I need to lower it. Okay. That is the kind of 100% safe way to go about this. Now, a lot of people just don't engage in this because they don't know the process or because they don't want to spend the money to do that. The problem with not wanting to spend the money to do that is if you do this incorrectly, your ex comes back at you and says, look, he hasn't paid or she hasn't paid for all of these months, then you may well be on the hook for all of that back alimony plus interest plus attorney's fees. So if you have a real permanent problem that disables you, makes it impossible for you to pay alimony that's ordered in your divorce decree on an ongoing basis, then you really do need to spend the money and take the time and do this right. Go back to the court, petition to modify your alimony and lower it or terminate it depending on your situation. That is the safest way to go about this.